Right. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. Today we're taking a look at this filament from uh, Conjure. Uh, that's the brand name. That's It's made by uh, Chichu Systems, which is the maker of Chichu Box 3D printing software and, uh, and other 3D printing items, 3D printers and accessories and whatever. So they're making filament now under the brand name Conjure. And they sent me a few rolls to test out and show you guys. And that's what I'm gonna do in this video. So this one is uh, the nice light gray. This is uh, high speed PLA plus. And then this one is uh, silk PLA. And this is a dual color blue green, which is really neat because uh, it's like a bicolor filament. So it has uh, two colors in the same filament strand. So you get some really cool uh, colors from that, some cool uh, gradients. Um, and of course, I'll be showing you examples of that. And the last one we have here, this is double layer co-extrusion PLA, chameleon purple blue. And this stuff, it looks uh, really cool on the roll actually. And um, I was really curious about it when I got it, but I will tell you, I, I'm not as crazy about how it looks uh, in person when it's printed. Um, and this one probably printed the worst. So in terms of quality, I would say this one came in last place uh, because I did have some, I had some blobbing uh, going on. I had some um, just weird layer lines. It, it's kind of hard to see because the filament is so, uh, there's, it's kind of so, it's so busy and it's sparkly and stuff. Um, also the color on this one is not like how I thought that it would be. I thought that it would be more, I guess I thought it'd be brighter, but what it kind of turns out to be is um, almost like a midnight blue with kind of like greenish purple sparkles. That's uh, kind of kind of how that ended up. And I know it can be hard to tell, you know, uh, the different colors and whatnot on camera. Uh, this is a really cool vase. Uh, and uh, what's cool about this model, I didn't make this, but what's cool about it is it can fit these um, like uh, vials, these glass vials that are very commonly used for uh, plant propagation. So um, if you printed this and it did not hold water to be actually be used as a flower vase, uh, you could use uh, one of those glass tubes and put that in there. I also printed a vase in uh, the dual color blue, which I think looks fantastic. It's nice and smooth. Oh yeah, and then this one, the print quality on this vase, you can probably hear it. Like if I run my fingernail across, And then this one, the, the silk one, I mean, obviously you can still, you know, it still makes the noise because of the layer lines, but much smoother on this side than, uh, than the chameleon. Uh, and the silk PLA will uh, hold water. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so you could use this as a vase just like that. We, you know, will it hold water for years? I don't know, but I did test it out for, uh, I think, I don't know, a couple weeks. We also uh, have, let's take a look at the uh, gray PLA plus in, with this vase that I printed. I didn't test to see if this one could hold water, but it probably can. It printed quite smoothly. Uh, probably about as smoothly as the silk PLA. Um, so in terms of print quality, I feel like this one probably came in second place, uh, but you know, kind of different purposes uh, for this. And again, this vase is printed in, in vase mode or spiral mode. So it's just one layer uh, all the way through. Uh, but the, yeah, so the, the PLA Plus is gonna have kind of a different purpose, you know, more of more practical prints as opposed to, you know, looking really cool. Um, let me show you some other examples that I printed here. Here's a, uh, I can't remember the name of this model, but it's, uh, it's really neat. It has these, these cubes that kind of like are connected and they can rotate and they come like kind of spread apart and then they come back together. Pretty neat. That printed really nicely. I feel like, I feel like the, you know, we do have some a eh, little bit of noticeable layer lines there, but overall very smooth, uh, really great, great print quality. You can see we have a little bit of stringing the gray PLA plus, uh, also printed very nicely. This is probably the smoothest uh, of this print. Very nice, very little stringing as well. 
The print settings for all of these prints were just the default Bamboo Lab print settings and the print profile was just generic PLA. Um, and all of these prints were done on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. Chameleon looking color. And this one did not print very well. You can see we have, uh, we got some stringing. It's not very smooth. I'm trying to, trying to open the, or you know, kind of rotate these, these cubes to make it work. And it's just not, there we go. Ah. So yeah, it didn't print very smoothly. Um, and I did, <clears throat> I did my best to dry out all the filament before using it. And I kept it in the Bamboo Lab AMS system enclosure. So, um, you know, I, I did the best I could. So I, I wasn't really impressed with the Chameleon uh, prints overall. Um, I also printed this sword, this big old katana, which um, this ended up being, well, it, this is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool print, uh, but it's gigantic. Um, so that doesn't really have to do with the filament, but it uses a lot of filament. And it's one of those uh, collapsible um, telescoping swords, which is cool. It broke off though, so it's really short right now. But you can see like, I don't know, the print quality is kind of okay. Um, you know, some of that could be due to the, to the model, kind of like how smooth the model is. Uh, but in terms of like the color, it's just, it's very dark. It's very dark. Um, like I said, almost like a midnight blue with like some sparkles to it. So there you go. I also printed this uh, really cool uh, gear ball. Ooh, this one, I, I think I saw this on, you know, Instagram or something, social media. And so that, this one's kind of going crazy. So I said, oh, that's really cool. I should print that, it'll be really cool, the dual filament. And it is, it is really cool. Check that out. So on the way that it was printed, you know, when you get towards the top, it kind of, I don't know, it looks a little weird. Uh, you don't have as, as smooth of a gradient. You know, but if you print it in kind of a, a different direction, you'll have a nice smooth gradient like with this vase. When it's all just spiraling up and kind of consistent, you'll have a nice smooth gradient like left to right. So it's not top to bottom because it's printing the dual colors the entire time. Uh, <clears throat> so just keep that in mind. And if you, uh, I'm pretty sure you could do like a test print and then see which side came up, you know, which color. So which side was blue, which side was green. And then you could, you could put the model, you know, uh, slice the model so that it would have that orientation. If you wanted like the front of something to be green and the back to be blue or split it down the middle. So that could be uh, a cool thing to do as well. Uh, so yeah, the gear ball, it works well. It's nice and smooth with the silk PLA. Uh, pretty, pretty triple trippy little fidget toy, pretty neat. And I added a little bit of, uh, you know, it's like um, silicone WD-40 spray on there. And it's nice and smooth. Here's another example. This is, uh, this is the handle for a, one, another telescoping sword or a little dagger, which also broke. And uh, so this is all I have left, but you can see that it's really cool because on one side we have green, the other side we have blue and it's very, uh, just, I guess how I happen to have it uh, on the print bed, it turned out that way. So that's really neat. And then you can see we do have that, we do have a very obvious seam right there. That, that may be more of the slicer, uh, slicer situation going on there. But I would say, you know, Pretty smooth, pretty smooth, nice and silky. That's what I like about the Silk PLA. It tends to print very well. And then here, this guy's great. This is a little disc shooter. Uh, these are super fun. Uh, this, I'll have a link to this one. This one is like the larger handle version, which I probably recommend. The spring and the trigger, that's a different filament. Uh, that's 3D fuel filament. Um, but I did use the blue green on the little, uh, the little magazine extension, as you can see here and on the little magazine uh, follower piece. And then this gray handle was printed with the PLA Plus. And uh, so far it's been very strong and it's been holding up. I would say it, it's printed pretty nicely. 
uh, yeah, not a lot of not a lot of stringing or anything like that. Um, yeah, the curves are nice and smooth. We can see there's a little bit of, you know, there's a little bit of um, what would you say variation in the layer lines here, you know, so not perfect, but. Again, this was with the default generic print profile uh, and sliced in Bamboo Studio. I would imagine that the, uh, the settings could be uh, tweaked to uh, get a little bit more optimum print quality. Well, there you go, folks. Those are uh, a closer look, a little closer look at uh, these three filaments from uh, Conjure. Uh, thanks again to Chi2 Systems for uh, providing these for me to uh, show you guys. Uh, comments, questions, leave them down below and uh, let us know if you've used these and what your experience has been with them. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a fantastic day and I will see you again very soon.